Hello, my creative friends. Jessica Sanders here of ColorBeCreativeArt.com. Welcome to my channel. So today I want to share with you sort of a comparison between Jane Davenport Magic Wand Pencils and Prismacolor Pencils. I've had some questions about it, and so I thought I would just share my thoughts with you. I am not a colored pencil expert. I will tell you that right up front, but I can share with you my observations, and then you can decide what you like. Uh, first off, I have a set of the Magic Wand Pencils. It comes in 12 Jane colors. So these are very specific to the Jane Davenport line. I have a couple out because I wanted to keep them separate for the demonstration, but these colors coordinate with everything else in Jane Davenport's line, and I mean, they're just beautiful. And uh, I'm just in love with them, to be perfectly honest with you. And then I have the Prismacolors. Now this is my son's set of Prismacolors. He um, uses it in his art class at school. And it is a set of 48 Prismacolors. And they have really nice colors as well. It's hard kind of to find an exact match of colors with the Jane Davenport uh, Magic Wands because these are specific colors to Jane's color palette while the Prismacolors are more just, they have all, every color I guess, but this set of particular is 48. So there we go. And you can see he's been using it for school. That's why some are shorter or longer. I wasn't, I didn't use them. He used them. So I just want you to understand that. So Prismacolors, let's just start here, are artist quality color pencils. They are high quality pigments for rich color saturation soft thick cores and a thick lead that resists breakage now prismacolors are famous for their pencils breaking but you know i don't know they are very soft it's okay if the leads break because you may value that soft core and then jane davenport it doesn't have anything on the back but i had the packaging and i it says uh, these little wonders are not your typical colored pencils with just a wave of your hand, create enchanting works of art with high intensity pigmentation that renders even over dried paint. So this is what we're going to kind of compare today. Jane Davenport and Prismacolor. Now let me set these aside. Okay. And I prepared sort of a, a sheet, a couple of sheets of paper. I have this. This is a vellum sheet of paper. It's what I like to use colored pencil on. And I also have drawing paper, a toned paper. So I just want to share with you a little bit and uh, about it. I've prepared different kinds of paint so we can test the pencils working over them. So let's go first to this toned paper. This is just a drawing I have, just practice drawing from the beginning of last year. Um, and I've, what I've done is I've chosen a similar color of the Prismacolor which is uh, crimson red compared to the heartthrob from the Jane Davenport line. Now, if you look closely, you can see that they're really not exactly the same color. The crimson red is a bit darker, but it was the closest comparison that I could find uh, for this purposes. And so uh, I have already color switched a few and tested these out and you can see you, with both you get really good coverage. But I'm going to do it with these colors, plus one of my favorite, I guess you would call it a wild card, <laughs> Ma uh, a magic pencil by Coronor. I love these magic pencils. They have multiple colors in one lid, and they're just so fun to use. And so I'm just going to throw this in, in the mix just for fun. Um, okay, and then after I do the reds, I will test the whites. So let me start with Jane's. And I'm going to just do light layering here. Um, I'm just going to do a rectangular swatch. So I'm going to do just a light layer. I like to use the pencils in layers. So I would just keep going back and forth and adding layer. Now you can see that you see the, color, the texture of the paper through this. Um, and as I said, I'm just pressing really lightly right now. And now I'm going to switch to the Prismacolor. And I'm just going to do that and see, I'm, again, I'm just having a light touch. I want to do this in layers. So there we go. I, as far as the first layer, they look really similar. The Prismacolor, I'm, I'm 
thinking about what I feel. The Prismacolor feels softer. It has a softer feel on the paper. Okay, so layer number two. I'm not going to cover the whole swatch. I'm going to leave a little bit there. So just laying down more pigment. You can see it's building up there with the Jane Davenport. I could do a side. And still, I'm not adding a lot of pressure or anything like that. I'm just going over. And now the Prismacolor. Also laying down a lot of pigment. You can still see the, the paper texture through that. That's okay. There's no problem with that. Um, so, f just feeling really nice. I'm going to go back to Heartthrob. And this time I'm going to add a little more, another layer, but I'm going to add a little more pressure. So this is layer number three. And I'm just adding that pressure to kind of melt those waxes because it is a similar product. Now, the Jane Davenport are made by American Crafts and it is marketed for crafters. Um, so that has a little bit of a different standard or vibe or I don't know what you'll call it, but there's there's just a different quality usually between craft supplies and fine art supplies. Now the Prisma color is marketed as a fine art supply and top of the line is basically Prisma color. <laughs> Prisma color is I think number one. Now don't quote me on that. I might be wrong. Um, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting down the pressure. Now these colors you can see are a little bit different. The uh, Heartthrob is much more pink than the crimson red but that's okay I think you can still get an idea of the coverage of the paper and for both of these the coverage is really really nice and it just you could do the light where you show the texture of the paper or you can put the pressure and layer and it completely takes away now if I just rub my finger over this they feel very similar again I can still feel even with my finger I can feel that the Prisma is is softer it just does so it does feel softer even to the touch it feels softer when you're coloring with it so there you have those two and here's my magic pencil and I'm just going to do the same thing now this is going to be a purpley color because it has reds and blues mixed in there's layer number one I love these and Cornor is a really good pencil maker also good art supply and drafting supply um, so there's two and it's kind of having the same effect. Now I'm putting pressure just like I did the other two. And look at that. Looking nice. Turn it. So there we go. It gives a nice coverage too. So, you know, it all depends on what you like as far as these go. The, the darker colors, they color really nicely on this. I'm going to test them on white in a minute on white paper, but let's test the white Prisma color and the white Jane Davenport pencil first. So this is the Jane Davenport pencil. It's called Unicorn. Don't you just love these names? And I have a kind of columns going on here, so I'm just going to do that. So here we go. I'm not sure how well you can see. Yeah, I think it's showing up on the camera just and again same technique of not too much pressure layering and then continuing to go over it so so that's covering fairly well it just doesn't show up as much because it is white it, it is I think it it feels to me slightly translucent transparent I can actually kind of see through it now, okay, so this is a big difference between the Prismacolor and the Jane Davenport because this white is definitely more pigmented. You can see it's much darker. Even the first layer is much darker. You can still see through it a little bit. So I can have this random line for my drawing here. I can still see it. So it is still transparent, translucent, whichever word you want to use, I guess. Um, and definitely is more opaque. The Prisma, the white Prisma color is definitely more opaque than the Jane Davenport Unicorn. So, good thing to know. All right, so let's move over then to the white paper that I have, and you can see that 
I did already a color test and um, let me just say this is Jane and this is Prisma Prisma color okay so let's kind of do the same thing on the white paper and see what happens and I'm going to start with Jane's and again a light layer I'm gonna try and move a little more quickly here but lays down really nicely that's a really light layer let's compare light layer to light layer again this is a softer lead and a darker color uh, also lays down really nicely it just again it just feels softer um, so what if I go ahead and put second layer right there and then a third with pressure and oh get that nice look at that very nice and then now I'll put the second layer with the Jane Davenport and the third layer with pressure <laughs> so you may see a few lines like showing up in here because I have these layers of paper underneath so they're kind of showing up but yeah look at that pigment so for the price you may want to go with the Jane Davenport's unless you're really looking specifically this is the magic pencil love the magic pencils <laughs> sorry I'm not the best singer price wise you know the Prisma colors are almost twice as much as the Jane Davenport line look at that So this uh, magic pencil, I can tell, is go thicker. Like it's more, maybe it's more waxy. It goes on thicker. Look, they do smudge a little. It's kind of fun. Okay, so there you have it. Now let's test on paints because specifically Jane Davenport mentions that this will go over even dried paint. But she does say in uh, her free online class that they don't go well over glossy surfaces but they go well over non-glossy surfaces so I have a variety of paints I have a Grumbacher Academy it's Grumbacher it's a student grade paint you can see it's very flat when it dries I have Liquitex basics which has a little bit more sheen I think a little more sheen than the Grumbacher and then Golden has quite a bit more sheen so that kind of gives us a test of how these are going to look over this and then I decided well let's just see how it looks over watercolor the mermaid markers which is a dye based ink and um, chameleon pens which is an alcohol based marker that's a lot of fun to play with okay so look, we're gonna try the red and I'm gonna test them both so here is the let me let me start with the Jane like I've been doing here's the chain heartthrob don't you love those names okay this is also transparent that's just one layer the thing is these are all about layers so but it shows up pretty nicely there we go okay and then the prismacolor crimson red let me do the same again it's much softer I, I it's not the Jane Davenport ones are soft but these are just you can just feel softer so they go on I think a little thicker on this paper and shows up pretty well yeah okay there we go and the magic why not the magic pencil yep it shows up too so you know color pencils they show up over the Grumbacher paint and here we go again let's do the Liquitex and the Prismacolor and we can layer these more to make them more opaque but I think you get the idea that's working just fine okay and now the back to Jane okay so just like she said it did not go well over this sort of glossy finished paint but I I can keep building up the layers and it would kind of work let's see about the Prismacolor it does go better over the glossy paint than the Jane Davenport's 
but she makes it very clear that that these don't work well over glossy paints they're made to go over craft paint so and then this one doesn't go as well either it's very transparent so the best one over glossy would be obviously Prismacolor there we go okay um, let's just the whites I'm pretty sure we already know what we're gonna see but let's do the whites this is Jane Davenport okay it shows up a little not too much um, yeah Prismacolor definitely more I'm trying to use about the same pressure now on this bright paint does it show up at all um, the Prismacolor does and then on we know it's not gonna work on this glossy for the Janes and the Prismacolor white doesn't really show up very well on there I can see it a little bit but I bet on the camera you can't really see it so it doesn't show up very well on there but that's okay just this is what we're learning about here so let me just continue with the white ones since I have them in my hands and let's try it over this dye based ink and I, I don't think there'll be any problem so you get a light transparent color there and what about this Prismacolor definitely more opaque than the Mer unicorn from Jane Davenport and let me just keep going this is over watercolor Jane Davenport's watercolor Prismacolor is more opaque and then over alcohol marker which basically should ignore each other kind of thing um, so you can see that a little and again more opaque so what I'm getting from this is that the white specifically is less opaque than the Prismacolor white and the pencils are really the colored pigmented pencils I'm trying to differentiate between the white and the colors okay white's not really a color that's why I'm having problem okay basically though the Jane Davenport colored pencils and the Prismacolor pencils are very similar but the Prismacolor is softer and there is a difference in the white because the white of the Prismacolor is more opaque and Jane's is more transparent but you can see this works over all all these different kinds of media and so there we go so this is my comparison I'm not really you know recommending one thing or the other I just wanted you to be able to see um, what they are and you could just make up your mind for yourself like I said the Prisma colors are about um almost twice as much as the magic wands uh, and it really depends on your application and what you're looking for and what you're going to do with them but if you want Jane's colors that these colors coordinate with the Jane Davenport line so if you have you know the the Jane Davenport mermaid markers or you have the uh, Jane Davenport watercolors these are going to coordinate with those and be the same colors whereas you can do the same thing with the Prisma color if you have a bigger set than 48 but it may not be you know quite the same so anyway completely up to you I just thought I would share my observations with you and let you know what I thought and so there we go thank you so much for watching I'm going to be back with more Jane Davenport supply sort of comparisons and tests and projects and I'm having a great time playing with these supplies and so I hope you're enjoying these videos if you have any questions please let me know leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these videos and I will see you soon bye bye my creative friends <laughs>